Hi guys, this time I will show how you can get this Cypress $90 debugger called Mini Proc 3 for much cheaper. But first I will show you two other options which are cheaper and might be good enough for you. And they are the prototyping kits, for example this BSOC 4 prototyping kit which has USB to serial converter on one end of the board and the rest of the board is for the BSOC 4 chip. This is like Arduino boards in the sense that the chip has serial bootloader and the board doesn't actually have a programmer, just USB to serial converter instead. That kit costs about 5 bucks, but for 10 bucks you can get this prototyping kit which has an actual debugger slash programmer and much more capable main IC which includes for example USB. And just like with the $5 kit, you can snap the programmer part off and you can even use it with this cheaper one. The debugging pins on the cheaper board are here and the pinout on the debugger that is on the $10 board matches the one on the cheaper board. But some ICs don't have reset pin, which this debugger uses for programming. Miniproc 3 can also use power cycle programming mode and that's the reason why I wanted to get one. And most cost-effective way to get Miniproc 3 is buying one of these reference design kits, mainly this CY5672. If we look at the features, there it is, Miniproc 3 for programming and debugging. Before I reveal the price, let's see what you can get for that surprisingly cheap price. First of all, everything comes in this plastic box, which seems to have a nice foam padding, and there are all the goodies. Let's start with this remote controller, as this is remote controller reference design kit. This has a touchpad, few buttons including one that enables motion sensor, and one that enables microphone. And let's have a look at the PCP, as this is already opened. There are a few interesting things on this nice looking black PCP. For example, there's the programmable BROC5, it has Bluetooth, and that's the antenna for the Bluetooth. There's the motion sensor IC, and here's the programming header for the BROC. What else on the board? Oh yeah, there's also an infrared LED, which can be programmed to control your TV, for example. And there's a jumper on the power line, so you can remove it and measure the current consumption of this device. At first glance, that looks pretty handy platform for some remote controller projects. What else comes in the box? There's a screwdriver for fixing the remote controller's case together. There's a maybe 6 inch programming cable between the programmer and the board. There's the USB cable. And this pack must include, yeah, there are two AAA batteries. Here's another programmable board. This is USB dongle, which has, I believe, that might be same PROC 5 chip as in the remote controller, and here's the programming header for it. There's another IC which handles the communication between USB port of the computer and this PROC chip, which then connects to devices through Bluetooth. Communication between these two chips happens, if I remember correctly, through UART, but it is possible it might be SPI. I'm not totally sure about that. And then, the last item on the box, the one that was the main reason I bought this kit. Here it finally is, Cypress's Miniproc 3 programmer slash debugger. It has programming header that matches the ones that we saw on both the USB dongle and remote controller, and it also has this 5-pin female header which matches the ones on the prototyping kits. Pinouts for both of these are marked on the backside of the programmer, which is handy if you want to, for example, make your own cables instead of using the ones that came with the kit. Then, last thing, let's talk about the price. This Mini Proc 3 alone costs about 90 bucks, but this whole kit costs less than 50 bucks. And for that 50 bucks, you get the $90 Mini Proc 3 and this Bluetooth enabled prototyping board and this USB dongle prototyping board as well. So I think that's a pretty good deal. One more thing, if you haven't already, please like this video, leave your thoughts in the comment section, and subscribe if you haven't already.